Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so pumped for today's video. As you guys saw by the title, we will be playing with the new Alice in Wonderland collection. I am so freaking excited. First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. So, <laughs> I'm actually filming another video, so it's fine. We're kind of half zing, but it's cool. It's chill. These videos are so funny to film, because like for me, it's seconds, but for you, it might be weeks before the next video goes up. I actually am going on vacation soon, so it actually might be actually weeks, actually. Should I say actually one more time? Anyway, <laughs> so let's jump in again. I have four products out of the entire collection. I didn't want to get the whole collection because I honestly was not, I was, this month was supposed to be my no buy month, first of all, and I didn't do that, but it's okay because I was like, I this is what I want the months to be filled with, like products I really want to try and then products I definitely want to do videos with. I feel like I'm constantly just buying like random things and that kind of stuff and then I'm like, what did I even need to buy this for? I don't know. I, I just want them to be filled with thought out purchases mostly. And I feel like this was super thought out for me, at least personally. Alice in Wonderland is not my favorite movie of the whole world. But first of all, I love ColourPop. Second of all, they had such good products in this. And I was just like, yes, 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 yes. So I had to try them. Um, and I'm very excited. So um, there's that. Anyway, I didn't buy the full collection. The only other things that I was thinking about was like the, they're not the eye crayons, but the like eye marker thingies um those were looking good to me but I was just like hmm, I don't know I don't know I know I wouldn't use them a lot but they look so cute anyway um <laughs> I'm talking a lot I don't know why okay so here are the products that I got let me just show you them real quick so first I did pick up the Alice um in Wonderland one pocket hairbrush I am so so excited so excited um, because first of all this is so cute second this is even cuter like oh my gosh this is so so adorable I'm so obsessed it comes with like a little keychain um, and then here's the mirror up here which is so nice I gotta take the thing off of it and then it actually is a brush <laughs> so I'm like not that I'm gonna go brushing my hair with this all the time because my hair is a hot mess like my curly hair y'all know Y'all can't just be brushing your curly hair throughout the freaking day. Um, <laughs> if you have straight hair, maybe this is your cup of tea. But I feel like this is nice just to have just in case. You know, if you ever just want to, like, change your hair real quick, um, you forgot about whatever it is, I'm going to take this with me. Um, so I'm going to Florida for vacation soon. I want to take this with me because I think it'll be so cute on, like, a little Disney lounge fly. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to get because I think I'm going to wait till I get there to get one. And I'm so excited. But anyway, so there's that. Super, super freaking adorable. Okay, and then the other not makeup product, not makeup product, this is the Pure Madness Overnight Lip Mask. You know I was going to get this. I've been a diehard for that freaking um, Winnie the Pooh lip mask. It was like my, first of all, it's the only product I still have from that collection, I think. And it is just so good. It is so moisturizing. I love 4-3 Beauty, not gonna lie. Um, was it 4-3? So, so, no, this is fourth ray, right? Right. Yeah, fourth ray. Their lip balms are like superb, like so freaking bomb. It's not even funny. So, anyway, obsessed, very excited. Um, here it is here. So freaking cute. It does come with a little lip mask thing, um, a little brush. This is just adorable, and I'm so excited. Let me smell it. It's so cute. It honestly just smells like cake to me. It doesn't. Maybe a little bit of birthday cake vibe. Vibe. Have you guys ever had the birthday cake remix from um, from Cold Stone? It smells like that. <laughs> it's so yummy. I'm so excited. Okay. And then for makeup products, I did pick up the um, pressed powder blush in the shade Silence. I love ColourPop's pressed powder blush formula. They do it so well in this regular kind of square packaging. Um, and... The little thing, I was looking at it, I, I opened it when I opened my package just to make sure that nothing was broken before I brought it here to film. Um, so that's why the little piece is not in there, but this is such a pretty color. This is the vibe I want to go for all summer, and I'm so excited to try this. It looks so gorgeous. Okay, and then last but not least, we did pick up the eyeshadow palette. I feel like it would be fun to test it on my like more medium tan skin, because obviously um, this looks like a super, super light kind of palette. Um, I felt like it was obviously catered more toward lighter skin tone um but I wanted to give it a try for myself to see what I thought um see if I like the vibe whatever so um 
We're gonna give it a go. Of course, I'm very excited. Okay, so let's go in with the lip mask first. Um, I'm gonna use this little scooper thing. I love their lips, lip mask Corvo. This feels a little bit smaller than the Winnie the Pooh one. I don't know exactly by grams and stuff or whatever. It smells even better on the lips. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I love my Lemon Edge Lip Steeping Mask and that kind of stuff, but I'm like, honestly, with the 4th Red Beauty lip balms, you don't even need any of that. I'm so glad. Like, this was the last collection they did, the Snow White one, um, and so I'm like, kind of glad that they didn't do the exact same thing, but like, I feel like they needed something special, special like that for the Alice in Wonderland collection, you know? <laughs> okay, let's go in with the blush. I think I'm going to use a stippling brush, even though I only have one here. Um, we're going to... Go with it. I just washed my brushes. I'm so excited. <sighs> I knew I was gonna love this. I knew it. I did. This is first of all, this is very much that sunburnt like blush kind of color. But what's good about this color too is it's not too light for like medium tan skin. I feel like it's the perfect color because it has it's a brighter blush, brighter we had a more sunburnt kind of blush, but it has this depth to it that doesn't leave like this ashy tone on deeper skin tone, on like more medium skin tone. <sighs> so stunning. Oh my gosh. Truthfully, obsessed. In love. Cannot wait to keep using this. I love ColourPop's brush formula. Again, I have the High School Musical one still. I have some other single. I have so many. I love ColourPop's blushes. I do. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, <laughs> let's do an eyeshadow look here. Um, again, this is very light. They're more like pastel kind of colors almost. Um, the the palette does not come with a mirror, which I honestly don't mind, but um, I feel like they usually do. But that's super, super cute. I think the design, I always think ColourPop kills it with their packaging, their designs, that kind of stuff. So I always never feel the need to like specifically say anything about it because I feel like it's a given. <laughs> I obviously want to do something a little bit more peachy pink. We're going to go with the shade that way right here. A little bit more taupe kind of color. We're just gonna put that in the crease. I'm gonna take a little smaller brush and then I'm gonna shake, take the shade Talking Flowers. That taupe shade is nice. It's really, it is what it is. It's like a light taupe shade. Um, so that's nice. <laughs> I feel like only the only palettes I've the Juvia's Place palettes are the only ones that I've found don't look the same. Like they look completely different than the ones that are in the pan. Um, I've never noticed. I've never seen that before. Besides them, and so honestly, I just felt the need to say that just so you guys know. Ugh. It is a very pale palette, a pale color, so you can tell like it looks a little bit dead. Um, and the shade, the pink shade, is hardly showing up on my skin tone on top of this color at least. Just giving a light dusting. I feel like I want to go with green, even though I wear green all the time. Should we do something crazy? Should we do something mad? <laughs> I think I'm going to take Curiouser and Curiouser um, right here. I don't know why I always say that that much. Again, I'm not even a um, Alice in Wonderland fan like that, but like I always have, I've said Curiouser and Curiouser quite a few times on this channel at, at least, but then in my day to day life, so. Okay, that color is cute. Let me just swatch these real quick. I'm not gonna swatch the Super Shock. These are the three I'm considering. The first one is Down the Rabbit Hole. This one is Stark Raving Mad. And then this is A-E-I-O-U. I think I wanna take A-E-I-O-U, but that turquoise, maybe we should do both. Let's do it. We'll put Stark Raving Mad right here on the outer corner. And then we'll put A-E-I-O-U on the front with something mad okay I think I'm gonna take the shade mm, no I feel like it'll screw it up this is the other shimmer I did not swatch it's the shade very merry unbirthday it's on top of hold on let me show you again there it is very merry unbirthday it's super super cute and then there's a super oh sorry I didn't swatch this one either which is lose something they feel like pressed glitters though and this is I'm late lose something I'm late um, like just being 100, 100, yeah, the, the matte shades are going to be too light for 
they're too light for me so anyone darker than me they're gonna be too light for <laughs> just keep that in mind there it's a it's, it looks crazy under my eyes I feel like um, the shimmers are super super nice though they're really really pretty and I think that those the shimmers they chose specifically will work for medium tan skin tones I think they're super obviously it's really fun and crazy crazy look but I think it's super fun um, and super cute I just think that yeah the matte shades are definitely a little too pale which is like one two three four five of the colors here are a little too pale for like medium tan skin tone the taupe shade did work but obviously i'm not going to do like just a taupe shade with this look and then i feel like the other two wouldn't work just like the pink one and then the blue one did not work so kind of a bummer but super fun palette again if you're looking for more of those shimmers i think those shimmers will work for everyone's skin tone well not everyone's but majority like at least medium tan skin tone my skin tone i should say i'll just say that instead of trying to include everyone it's gonna work for my skin tone for sure all the shimmers and like this will be like a good companion palette because it has those like really fun shades but i feel like for a sole look on this palette i wouldn't use it probably for that again honestly but super super cute i honestly though the more like i was staring at my eye look i think it's super super fun very very spring-esque i honestly could just like enjoy this palette for si simply being like a one shadow look like just using one of these shimmers kind of blending it out and going on with my day because i think it's so fun and these shimmers are so beautiful so um obviously it's really irritating like i wish they would have done at least some dimension in the matte shade just so i could use it more often but i honestly think for the color scheme that it is i honestly probably wouldn't even use it that often anyway um you know just in general but i feel like they could have added some depth to the, some of the shades at least they didn't need these three all the same kind of tone at least these four you know they're all this light very pale kind of tone I wish one of them at least well at least one or two of them had some depth to them because obviously it's more of a pastel and colored palette but I feel like we needed some companions you know at least a little bit more medium tan deeper skin tone friendly colors you know what I'm saying so anyway but the shimmers are so stunning and I'm really loving this look right now it's so fun I'm gonna put some mascara mascara always makes everything look better so anyway guys, it was a super quick video because obviously there wasn't that many products to talk about, but I really like this palette. I recommend more for light medium skin tones. Obviously, I think that if you're a medium tan skin tone, the shimmers will work for you. If you love Alice in Wonderland, you can make it work just in general, but I feel like obviously if it's not something like your particular, if you're going more so for the shades, I would say, you know, just keep in mind your skin tone. It might not, it's not, definitely not going to work for everyone. Just keep that in mind if you're someone who really likes the way the palette looks, not necessarily Alice in Wonderland. If you like Alice in Wonderland, again, you can make it work. <laughs> but it is so freaking cute. It's definitely a spring fun kind of palette in my opinion. Um, obviously, of course, love this little keychain thing. I think this is so cute. And I hope that everyone who wanted it can get it still. Um, and then... I'm obsessed with this blush, honestly. This I'm going to bring it with me on vacation. Oh my gosh, I just stabbed it. I'm going to bring it with me on vacation because this color is stunning. It's this perfect, like, sunburnt kind of vibe. And um, I almost picked up the other blush, but I was like, I think it's too light for me. I couldn't tell, honestly, but I think it would have been too light for me. So I'm glad I just picked up this one. When I can find a lip mask, I promise I'll tell you about it. Found it. I'm obsessed. I love this mist lip mask. It feels so good. It's not too overly thick is what I like about it. Um, it's super, super moisturizing though. It's not like super, it doesn't feel like super heavy on your lips or anything like that. It just feels like your lips are super moisturized. You can even see there's a little bit of glossiness to it. I really like this formula. It's not the exact same formula as the, at least it doesn't seem like this is the exact same formula as the um, Winnie the Pooh one. The Winnie the Pooh one feels a little bit thicker, honestly. This one's a little bit thinner. But it feels really, really good. So I'm very excited about this. Again, I hope so many people could got everyone who, not everyone, but I wish as many people as possible got that and people weren't just hoarding them and then selling them on Mercari for $50. You know what I mean? So I, I hope that you guys got it if you wanted it. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, are you picking anything up? Did you pick up anything up from this collection already? Do you like this collection? I think it's a very Alice in Wonderland in my opinion. I know there are super diehard Alice in Wonderland fans who are like, girl, this is not it. For me, I think it's super Alice in Wonderland. It's very exotic, very Mad Hatter, very, um, uh, you know, on brand, I feel like, with the Alice in Wonderland. Kind of kooky, kind of crazy, kind of vibe, but also wearable. So I feel like they did that really, really well, in my humble opinion. Again, I'm not a diehard, but anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>